Now let's go into the engine room where the engine lives. Well, when, where the engine died. Have to jump down. <clears throat> okay. So, Volvo Penta MD22, 55, 60 horsepower, something like that. This is not turbo. Not that it matters. The seawater intake happens on the port side. It goes through this heat exchanger. Uh, the heat exchanger is connected to the hydraulic lines. It cools down the hydraulic fluid. Then it goes all the way around, like so. And uh, it ends up inside of this diesel engine. Then it has another heat exchanger inside of this compartment. And that exchanges, that cools down the antifreeze inside of the diesel engine and that cools the engine then that seawater uh, gets spit out through this exhaust it needs to do that in order to cool down the exhaust because diesel engines they have a very hot exhaust and if you don't cool it down it's just gonna start smoking melting maybe it will catch fire that's why when you see a sailboat any kind of diesel boat if the exhaust is above the water uh, you also see that they spit out water as they run the engine it doesn't mean they're sinking it's just they have to do that uh, what else uh, diesel lines that's the separator for water and uh, hydraulic pumps uh, so the cables used to go here and you know when you pull it goes in reverse forward and uh, one of them is port the other is starboard doesn't matter and of course if you run them at the same time if you like do this you know like at the same time uh, both forward it's gonna be much more load than this baby uh, you could actually hear it uh, that it was struggling we have oil filters um, gauges I have no idea what they're for. Uh, some valves. There's another filter of sorts there. I guess that's for the hydraulic fluid. Hmm, that's strange. Anyway, uh, this is all gonna go away. I'm putting batteries, uh, electric motor controllers in here. This is port side and we have one of the hydraulic motors as you can see it's like a 20 pound 30 pound piece of metal and that's the propulsion and the beautiful thing is this boat has no engine rooms below the like engine compartments engines below the bridge deck so there's one engine room midship in front of the mast and these two little things just go midship into the bilges they connect to the shafts and uh, uh pretty much yeah it's uh i wouldn't call it a direct drive but uh kind of sort of works uh terrible system why because hydraulics they lose like 40 percent uh volvo penta md22 i think it's 55 let's say it's 60 horsepower on a good day so you have uh two hydraulic motors losing 40 percent basically what 30 horsepower 40 percent of 30 uh, it may be on a good day you get like 15 16 on each well if you run at that uh, if you run them at the same time you will have that probably if you only have one prop running then uh could be somewhat efficient uh still the same 40 percent loss but you'll get a uh, 40 35 horsepower honestly uh it couldn't even get itself unstuck so i had to just do this like manually turn it uh and uh just to get it unstuck otherwise it couldn't even turn so there's really no torque as in uh, it just goes into the through the bypass uh, of the pump uh, hydraulics they have that thing if something's stuck so they don't blow up they have a bypass channel and uh, that goes 
directly into the uh, hydraulic tank. And that's what was happening with this side. And uh, I'm not impressed. Uh, this is all gonna go away. Uh, and I'm gonna put an electric motor right in here. This, I think, aluminum plate is gonna go. Uh, the plan is to uh, use a 3D scanner, scan this whole bilge and the shaft so I could design parts that I'll um, epoxy and glass into, into here. And uh, then I'm just gonna put two stainless steel rails and lower the motor um, down and uh, hopefully it's gonna be uh, very precise. The more precise it is, the more efficient it is because you know if there's some kind of a of an angle, uh, it's gonna affect every uh, revolution. You don't want that. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. This is all trash. I'll carefully drain the hydraulic fluid into metal containers, uh, recycle it. Uh, and uh, this boat will be electric.